Hello and welcome to my channel, Just a Guy Who Likes Math. Today we're going to prove that the square root of 6 is irrational. Like I said a couple episodes ago, um, everything in math has to be scrutinized and proved, and even if we know this is uh, true, we still have to prove it. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Proof. We're going to prove by contradiction. Okay, so um, so we're gonna suppose the square root of six is rational. Therefore, it could be expressed as some a divided by b, where GCD of a and b equals one. And the reason for this is that it just means that this is um, as as low as it can be. I mean, what by that I mean, you know, if you have like four over six, it can be represented as two over three. Uh, we're going to do like the base form um, where the GCD of these two numbers of the numerator and, de and denominator is one. Okay. So yes. Um, so I'm just going to cross multiply. So square root of six B equals a, and I'm going to square both sides next. So six B square equals a square. Now we had GCD of a and B equals one. So, b squared does not divide a squared, and then, you know, b does not divide a. So we have 6 divides a squared, right? And uh, since 3 divides 6, we get 3 divides a squared, and effectively, 3 divides a. Okay, I hope uh, everything made sense up until now. Um, okay, so a could be represented as... 3 times c. Uh, let's c be like any number, any integer. Um, so yeah, this means this, basically. Okay, so uh, remember we had this equation. I'm just going to rewrite it in a different way. Well, a squared equals 6b squared, and a squared equal, a equals 3c. So 3c squared equals 6b squared, which really means 9c c square equals 6 b square. I'm just going to divide 3 from both sides. This is 2, this is 3. Therefore, 3 c square, uh, whoopsies, 3 c square equals 2 b square. Okay, good until now. Therefore, we have 3 divides 2 b square, right, from, uh, from the previous page. And obviously, uh, 3 does not divide 2, so 3 divides b squared. And effectively, 3 divides b. So we have 3 divides b, 3 divides a from uh, the previous page. And obviously, 3 is greater than 1. Um, from these two, actually, we have the GCD of a and b has to at, at be greater than or equal to 3. And we had uh, 3 is greater than 1. But in the previous page, if you remember, I said the GCD of A and B equals 1 uh, from the previous page. GCD of A and B equals 1. But, you know, 1 is not greater than or equal to 3. So uh, these two things are a contradiction. So our assumption was false. That means uh, square root of 6 is irrational rational hence proved perfect um i hope all of this made sense any questions leave it in the comment section below and um until next time peace out and uh yeah don't forget to like and subscribe